Hello and welcome everybody once again to 2KCW. Welcome to 2KCW with Thon. And we are kicking off the show with the tag team titles up for grabs. As you can see, the full stable of the Awakening. Akira Matsumoto on your left, Jushin Sakamoto on your right. And Akira in the middle is Akira Yamashita. The Awakening defeated the Red River Connection to get to this point to earn this shot at the 2KCW Tag Team Titles. But they for sure have a tough task to hand when they got to face off against Smooth as Silk, Dynamite Curtis, and Isaac York. It's interesting from last week that Jushin did not play a big role in their match to get or in their six man tag last week while teaming with Eric Anderson, who we will see in the main event. Dynamite Curse on your left, Isaac York on your right. And I would like to play I'd like to say a special shout out for our host venue this evening, the American Legion Post 80 in Binghamton, hosting 2KCW with Lon. We are grateful to be able to entertain you all tonight. And here we go, the 2KCW tag team titles on the line of course those same titles held by many teams including the American Wolves Davey Richards and Eddie Edwards and the Briscoe Brothers and under a different name Evil Uno and Stu Grayson. As well as the Dudley Boys and the final champions, the Young Bucks, before now. But again, we will crown new champions here in 2KCW. So one of these teams will add their names to the legacy and the heritage of the 2KCW tag team titles. Matsumoto sending Curtis into his corner. Tag made. Here comes Jushin. Sakamoto springboard off of Tope Konhilo. Uppercut there from Dynamite Curtis. Two different styles being shown in this tag match between Smooth as Silk and more technical sound team. They like to focus on their grappling and their mat game while the Awakening sticks to the high flying and the ropes, but they can be as technical as the best of them. Isaac York off the tag. Looking for a clothesline. Jushin into the corner. Codebreaker. Isaac York and now working the legs. Putting pressure onto the legs. That was one of Isaac's Finishing maneuvers being the cross, flying cross body. He calls it LaGuardia. The elevated elbow drop from Jushin Sakamoto. From Kyoto, Japan. Isaac York tag made a dynamite Curtis. And a double hip toss. Standing in Zagiri from Jushin Sakamoto against Dynamite. And of course our big main event tonight, an Iron Man match between Leroy Punch Beef and Eric Anderson for the 2KCW Heavyweight title. Tag made. Here comes Akira Matsumoto. Drop toe hold into the elbow drop. 
Again, I can't wait to see who's going to add their name to the history of 2KCW. And then Matsumoto in the wrong part of town. Monkey flip out of the corner from Dynamite Curse. I would not expect that from a man of his size. Tag made to Isaac York. Collar and elbow tie up Isaac, getting the advantage. At least that's what it seemed like. Matsumoto with the brain buster. Immediately into an arm bar attempt. And as you can see, Akira Yamashita is sticking to the ringside. Into the corner, York. Quick Larry into the back of the neck. Down by Matsumoto into the kitchen sink. Knee right into the abdomen. Both these teams are so much fun to watch. Oh, sweeping the leg into a Boston Crab from Matsumoto. Akira with the leg strength to be able to shake off Isaac York off the Boston Crab. And a back elbow from Isaac into a standing drop kick. And this may be the end of the match right here. The exclamation point DDT. Cover. See new tag champions. I, I believe Jushin trying to break up the pinatage, but it almost looked like he went for the referee. You gotta be aware of that so he doesn't have this match be thrown out in a disqualification. Isaac continuing to go to work on Akira here. Off the ropes looking for some kind of big strike out of the corner. There's a big boot for his effort from Matsumoto. Now Akira setting him up, looking to hit the dragon's breath on Isaac York. And it looks like Dynamite Curtis is nowhere to be seen on the bottom right of your screen, but Isaac getting the kick out. Now there you can see Dynamite just coming to, and now he's back up on the apron. Got to be aware of what's going on in the ring. And another dragon's breath to Isaac York. So they're covering out Dynamite right there to break it up. And now it's all breaking down here. As Jushin delivered a neckbreaker to Curtis. And, and Matsumoto mounting a comeback here. So there's a close line, stripping the leg. And of course, the awakening. Inspired by the Power Rangers. Matsumoto with the Green Ranger, Jushin with the White, and Akira Yamashita on the outside with the Pink Ranger. Standing dropkick connects for Isaac York. And now Akira keeping control of the head of Isaac. Dry up on the top rope. Akira looking to go up to the top rope. But we don't see him go very often. Looking for the go round that he calls knock him down, but Isaac counters it into a power bomb. Beautiful counter for Isaac York. And we may be looking at our next two KCW Tag Team Champions in Smooth as Silk with another exclamation point DDT cover and Jushin's right there to break it up Isaac turning his attention to Jushin and Isaac needing to capitalize as he's slow to ascend to the top turnbuckle
And then Isaac looking for LaGuardia. Into the pin. It's going to be enough to win the titles here. No. Isaac was looking to keep Akira grounded by chopping and getting some head scissors on. Top half of Akira able to escape. Tag May. Here comes Jushin Sakamoto for Awakening. Again, we haven't seen a lot of him, but he's not in the last outing in that six man tag when they got the victory. There's Eric Anderson. Tag May. In comes Dynamite Curse into the drop toll hold into the elbow drop. And this is good that Dynamite is able to get in the ring because he's been fresh outside. And Dynamite, we don't see him go to the top rope often. Looking for a new move. He calls Ignite. Not able to hit it. As effective as his implosion does. Sakamoto coming empty off the cross body into the corner. Dynamite keeping control into the snap mirror. Quick kick to the back. Sakamoto showing signs of life here. Into the can only be one. A real bear of splash. And Dynamite barely gets the shoulder up. Dynamite making the tag to Isaac. Now Isaac going go in like a house of fire. Isaac into the Awakenings corner. Tag made. And an assistant cross body from the Awakening. Into the cover off the cross body. To win the tag titles here, Isaac. Still staying alive. A lot of time for Dynamite to be spending out on the floor. Interestingly enough, standing drop kick from Isaac into the cover. It looked like at some point the Kira was busted open under his mask. You can see the blood starting to fall onto his chest. Of course, we got. Medical professional standing by and make sure nothing goes too out of hand. Elbow drop from Isaac. I thought he may have been looking for LaGuardia there. And now he's got Akira into the figure four leg lock. Is Akira going to be forced to tap out of the figure four? No, he's striking. At the knees and eventually the face of Isaac. And Isaac continuing to work the legs of Akira. Sucker punch by Dynamite. Referee, get out of the way. Tag made. And we're going to see here some big combination. A spine bust into a leg drop from Awakening. Beautiful combination there. Cover. And Isaac barely staying alive. An innovative takedown from Isaac. And I think Isaac really needs to make a tag to Dynamite, and he does. Again, Isaac's been in there with both members of Awakening for a very long time. Bring in the heavy artillery, I say. Side rush of leg sweep from Dynamite Curris. Now you can see the effect that this match is taking on Akira out on the apron. Gets a little snake eyes for Jushin. Dynamite with a pop, innovative power slam there. Cover. Jushin with a kick out, still showing a lot of fight in this match. 
There's the signature running bulldog from Dynamite. And he capitalizes what's important here. Jushin lighting him up with a series of strikes. Now Jushin again going up to the top rope looking for a Bronx Blast and it connects. Into the cover to win the tag team titles. No. F no. Full Nelson suplex rather. Kira taking down Isaac. And Jushin starting to feel the momentum here. Big corner. Clothesline. Dark under into another running clothesline. And a third. Into the cover off the comeback and Jushin gets the wing and the awakening of your new 2K CW Tag Team Champions. Putting their names in the history books, ladies and gentlemen. And there's the first of two dragon's breaths for Isaac. A great matchup between these two teams. Can only be one. There's that beautiful power bomb counter from Isaac. Off the down below. Or the knock him down, excuse me. ourselves new tag champs here in 2KCW. But coming up next here at 2KCW Thon, we got women's action. Don't go anywhere. As the Awakening get to celebrate their win, become the new tag team champions. Coming up next, we got women's action on hand. And up first is Dizzy Jet. And the reason we have this match is because Dizzy Jet is the only woman besides the Suicide Blondes to not have a loss yet in 2KCW. And we will see what happens next as she takes on Paige Storm of the Suicide Blondes. Page Storm did not have a great outing in uh, the first episode of 2KCW in their tag team match against Jenna Jordan and Charlie Evans, but we'll see what Page Storm can bring to the table facing off against Dizzy Jet. Storm on your left, Cindy Danger on your right. Again, these two come as a total package. Can't have one without the other, and that is certainly the case. As Paige Storm makes her debut as a singles, or at least in the singles competition. see who will be walking out with the W here at 2KCW of Fon. And here we go. Dizzy Jet and Paige Storm collar and elbow tie up. Dizzy getting the advantage you would suggest. But not exactly when Paige Gets the quick sucker punch in, but she puts off that collar and elbow tie up Dizzy, put Paige in Cindy's corner, her own corner. A slam and a running elbow drop from Dizzy Jet, again inspired by Joan Jet, the rock and roll legend. From 
Cherry Hill, New Jersey. Innovative takedown from Page. And this will be a good opportunity to see if both members of the Suicide Blondes can be potential singles competitors later down their career but for right now they're sticking to the tag division well as much as there is a tag division here in 2KCW for the women but a back elbow from Paige Storm and a hip toss counter by Dizzy beautiful combination there reversal I mean no nonsense style by Dizzy Jet looking to inflict pain no matter how she can do it. Bringing Paige up on the top rope. Into the corner and Dizzy. With a strike combination into the European uppercut. In the corner. And here we go. She calls that the diss track. Is that going to be enough to put away Paige Storm at 2KCW with Thon? And it is. Dizzy Jet going 2 0 here in 2KCW. All that's left is if Dizzy can defeat Cindy Danger in singles action and then. Dizzy would be at the forefront of the women's division here in 2KCW. There's the disc track. And that's going to be all she wrote for Paige Storm here tonight. May not be clean, but it is effective. Well, ladies and gentlemen, coming up next for the 2KCW Heavyweight Championship and Iron Man match to determine the new champion, and that match is coming up next. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for our main event here at 2KCW with Don. For the World Championship, it's going to be Leroy Punch Beef taking on Eric Anderson. This will be a 15-minute Iron Man match for the vacant 2KCW Heavyweight Championship. It's also been held by the likes of, of course, Mr. Brody Lee, who are the winner of these two Battle Worlds in his name, got to this point, as well as Slick Wagner Brown, Jay Freddy, Kevin Steen, Isis Effects, Tommy Dreamer, and Sammy Callahan. Only 19 times. It will have been 19 different champions, rather, for the 2KCW championship, for the history of the 2CW title. For the next names to be etched into that title's history will be either Leroy Punchbeef or this man, Eric Anderson. the Denmark native would love to make a huge splash again in the title's history by becoming one of the first international stars to ever hold the 2CW, 2KCW belt I can't think of any better way to dedicate their victories in the Battle Roy Brody Lee Battle Royals to We'll do it this way for Brody Lee. There you see it right there, the 2KCW Heavyweight Championship. Yeah, 
And here we go, 15 minutes on the clock. Anderson right out of the gate with a running bulldog. Taking down Punch Beef. And Punch Beef, Punch Beef, excuse me, counters with a running heel kick. Punch Beef with a DDT. Taking down the Norse horse, Eric Anderson. And now up and over the top rope. This match spells the outside, and we got our ringside crew out on the floor so you don't miss any action that goes on. And Punch Beef is sending Anderson right into the steel barricade. And the fans here in Binghamton getting up close and personal viewing of our main event here. Count of six from the referee. And Leroy doesn't seem to be in any hurry to bring this match back inside the ring as Anderson gets thrown into the ring post. And count of nine now. And Punch Beef thought he made it back in the ring. But evidently not, so that was, I believe I'm being told now that that was a draw first fall, so both men have scored a fall, although it is being a draw. This match continues with Eric back in the ring. First and foremost with a waist lock from Punch Beef. Now Punch Beef. Suplex. Former cow tipping record attempt from Leroy Punch Beef. Again, I was told to tell you guys at home that I not making this stuff up. Interesting catching the leg. Another running bulldog. So Punch Beef. to the corner and a single-handed spine buster from Leroy. Leroy Punch Beef is certainly full of surprises. And he steps between the ropes. And off the ropes. And a Hurricane Rana again. I say it and he's got a bag of tricks. And his arsenal looking for suplex blocked. Oh, right, suplex by Anderson. And back elbow from Anderson and a running uppercut. Barely phasing Punch Beef. Referee getting caught in the line of fire. The referee's down. And one of these men could grab for a weapon, but it's not going to do him any favors. Now the referee is up, but... Again, we're back in, and now we're out, back inside the ring. Punch Beef just soaking in the spotlight here, and Anderson counters with a jawbreaker, and another running uppercut, barely affecting Punch Beef. Leroy. Looking for the three amigos. And not electing to go into the cover. And I don't know if that was a smart strategy for Punch Beef. He is a very unorthodox character. We can see that first and foremost. Well, wait a minute. Anderson up on his shoulders. He's hit the Odin's bidding on Punch Beef. And he kicks out. And this is the first time we've seen that move from Eric Anderson. He calls that Odin's bidding. Some may call it the one-winged angel. And some just call it effective. A series of uppercuts out of the corner and another. Anderson looking to clean Punch Beef's clock with these elbows and a running drop kick. Excuse me, uppercuts. 
It's been a long night, folks. Anderson had position for a second. Suplex by Punch Beef. We are down to nine and a half minutes left in this Iron Man match. Punch Beef up on the top row, looking for the slap chop. To Punch Beef into the cover. And Punch Beef has scored the first fall in this Iron Man match. And continuing the assault. Looking for a gory bomb. And he connects with it. And Anderson is busted open, I believe. Off the gory bomb. And for a man who's described as coming from a slaughterhouse, I wouldn't be at all surprised. Punch me if again looking for the three amigos on Eric Anderson here. They make their mark as Punch Beef. Maybe looking to go up to the top row, but he's not going for it this time. He's going for his other move, the Butcher Special. And Anderson taps out, so we are two up for Leroy. Another suplex for Punch Beef. Punch Beef has gained a very distinct lead so far in this match. It looks very doubtful for Anderson to come back. Punch Beef. Series of strikes. Ducks under into a running drop kick. Really feeling the momentum here in this Iron Man match. He's up two. We can call it pretty much 2 0. Well, wait a minute. More light suplex. Counter from Eric Anderson. Anderson, Dragon Sleeper, suplex. Barely getting the pinfall there. And Anderson may be looking to hit Odin's bidding for a second time. Waste lock, but he got. That's as far as he got was the waist lock counter. The position. Swinging neck breaker from Anderson. And now Anderson, we saw him hit this move a couple times in the six-man tag. Last week, looking to hit the Valkyrie strike on Leroy. Anderson knows what he's doing, pulling him away from the ropes. To not force a rope break into the cover for his first fall, and he hits it. So we are now two to one, effectively. And it looks like Anderson may be looking for Owens bidding again. Round and around they go. Punch beef. Now Anderson with another swinging neck breaker. And Anderson's almost at a loss for stamina. He's not quite sure how to put away Punch Beef. Again, Leroy's a very, again, an ortho, an ortho, unorthodox competitor. I can speak my English right once, every, once in a while. But I don't know, this is a totally different competitor than Anderson's ever faced before. Another headlock, keeping him grounded. The referee making sure that he doesn't slip the elbow underneath the chin to force a choke. Whether it's an air or a blood choke. As we are winding down to five minutes left in this Iron Man match. Punch Beef is still up two to one. Back body dropped by Punch Beef. And Leroy capitalized. Leroy looking for Apley, the three amigos, for a third time in this match. And it's been helpful to him so far. 
And now Punch Me looking to use the ropes as leverage to force Anderson to exclude more energy in that kick out. Whoa, and looking like Punch Me was looking for a pile driver. Anderson able to counter. Another Dragon Sleeper slam by Anderson. Two, three, and we are tied at two to two in this Iron Man match. There's four minutes remaining. Punch Beef looking for a power bomb. I thought he was maybe looking for the Gory Bomb or possibly a Razor's Edge, but it's for a power bomb instead. Punch Beef climbing to the top rope, looking for the slap chop once again. The gain is lead. European uppercut out of nowhere by Anderson. And the crowd here at Binghamton chanting, this is awesome, and I have to agree to extend the lead for Anderson, and Punch Beef gets the kick out. Punch Beef was looking for the slap shop once again, and Anderson able to hit a European uppercut. Off of ropes, tilt to roll backbreaker. Or punch beef. Short arm, shoulder tackle from Eric Anderson. Anderson looking to hit anything that moves on Leroy Punch Beef as we wind down to the final minutes of this Iron Man match. Buster from Punch Beef into the cover off the Brain Buster, and that's not gonna do it. We're still tied here in the final stretch. Punch Beef going up to the top rope, looking for the slap chop, and he hits it for a second time. It's going to get the same result as the first one in Anderson with the kick out. Anderson staying very much alive as we are again approaching the final minutes of this Iron Man match. Both men tied it to a piece. Modified abdominal stretch from a seated position. For Punch Beef, but Anderson able to fight out of it the hip toss the lengths these men will go to be the next 2 KCW champion another dragon sleeper slam from Eric Anderson you can tell the desperation on Anderson and he's just wanting to get another fall on punch beef here but he's not able to do it so far Anderson going back to what he knows can and the match was looking for Valkyrie strike, but Punch Beef was still storing out on the mat. Drop toe hold, Anderson off the ropes. And the running drop kick, looking to the right shoulder of Punch Beef. Anderson, he's again a big man. He doesn't go to the top rope often, but he's getting very Exhausted here in this Iron Man match. And there's the Valkyrie strike. Can Anderson capitalize off the Valkyrie strike to win the title? No, Pink Punch Beef with a kick out of the Valkyrie strike. 10 seconds remain. I'm afraid we're going to have to go into sudden death. If we do not get another pinfall and we're not going to see it. So ladies and gentlemen, we are going to go into sudden death here. The next fall will be the victor for this Iron Man match. Neckbreaker from Anderson. And the winner will become the 2KCW champion. Into the corner, Anderson, but Punch Beef with a quick back elbow. And 
In between the break, Anderson was able to get cleaned up after the cut, off the gory bomb that we saw earlier on from Punch Beef. And Punch Beef up on the top rope. I was looking for old school, but he's going to go for instead a attack on the arm of Anderson in the cover. Again, weakens the effectiveness of the Valkyrie strike. Smart strategy by Punch Beef. As both these guys are absolutely spent. Punch Beef getting the second win here. With the forearms and the drop kick. And here we go for a fourth time. We're going to see the three amigos. From Leroy Punch Beef. Into the cover of the three amigos. And Anderson staying alive. Punch Beef knows what works. But he got, didn't get a decision the last time. This time he may. There's the slap chop from Punch Beef. And Leroy Punch Beef is the new 2KCW heavyweight champion. After a grueling 15 minute Ironman match, we had to go into sudden death. What a match these two put on be named champion here in 2KCW. And there we see the final moments, the slap chop. Not a great angle, angle, but it's the one we are getting. So Leroy Punch Beef, believe it or not, is champion well ladies and gentlemen that is going to do it for us here in Binghamton for the 2KCW Athon live event we thank you everybody so much for joining us on a great first step for 2KCW and the heritage and the legacy of 2CW thank you everybody so much for watching and we will see you next week <laughs>